Here's the new one, obviously, compared to the old one. There's a few minor differences, but it looks like everything's going to match up. Um, I'm going to get a rebuild kit for this one. Um, I just wanted to have this one in and working. And I've got another Bayou 220 also, so it's really kind of going to be nice to have a spare one on the shelf. This one after I rebuild it. So I'll make a video of, of rebuilding this one too. But here's the, uh, here's the new one. Let's get it back in. Tell you what, before I put that in there, I'm going to put a little oil on this O-ring right here to help lube it and get it in that hole. Just had to kind of wiggle it a little bit, pick up on it, push down on it, push it side to side to get it lined up in there. All right, last thing to take out was this bolt. We're going to put that bolt back in there. All right, that's in there nice and tight. Now we need to take and put our starter wire back on. This has a 10 millimeter nut on it also. Next up is our other 8 millimeter bolt. But remember we had those multiple brackets holding that on there, so or with it, uh, the multi-use 8mm bolt. So here's this little bracket goes on there, so that's all well and good. But don't forget, you need to put on your oil line now too. And remember this little guy on this end, we took off completely because we were fishing it through the engine. So let's do that. And this one went on the far, the far hole in the block. There's two holes here, and the the line here goes in the furthest one, away from you. So we're just going to get that kind of started in there and leave it a little loose. We're going to take all of our stuff over here to the other side. Put your first washer in underneath of here. All right, so that goes there. Put your line down on top of that washer, then take your bolt with the other washer, slide it down through the center, and make sure you still got that other washer underneath of there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe Mr. Cameraman can get in there a little bit better. There we go. So we got the washer, the oil line, the other washer, and the bolt. So now we've got the oil line, this other little clamp that holds this hose, and the starter in place. That's the three things you need for this one bolt. Alright, we've got the starter bolted in we can go ahead and tighten down these oil lines and that's a 10 millimeter again I just used the 8 millimeter on that starter bolt alright here's the other oil line that we just kept and retrieved from our safe space. Got all the washers in place. No dirt. Completely clean. And uh, so this little rubber baby buggy bumper down here. That goes to the lower part. And then make sure you got all your washers in place again. And put that little puppy back in place right there and these are 10 millimeter bolts also a 
I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and turn this thing over and see if we can get it to hit or start just to make sure the starter's any good before we get going too far. But everything's tied back together, so I've got the other side the other side tight, this side tight, that's tight, bolts are tight, wires are on, wire is on, this rinky-dink rubber boot is in place. Yeah, there we go, that'll protect it. Um, yeah, let's turn it over. Alright, here we go, we're going to try to turn it over, let's see what happens key on I've got a little green light says it's in neutral that's good and here goes the starter button oh yeah wow that turned right over that's nice all right we're gonna go ahead and put the exhaust back on now and um, see if we can start it up and see if it'll run we're gonna start with putting this end of the exhaust pipe into the muffler and then we'll work on getting the front end in place You can look down through beside the air box right here. And in between the frame and the air box, you can see that lower pipe, the rear pipe. All right, I got it started back there. Now we're going to move to the front and see if we can get the front piece in. I went ahead and put the exhaust pipe on and bolted all that back up, making sure to put the uh, metal little spacers in the front of the engine there and the two nuts back on there and tighten them down. So let's turn it over and see what happens. There you go, that worked great. Um, so that's that's wonderful that's it wasn't even doing anything before the solenoid was just clicking all right guys well thanks for watching uh, that little install went really well um, thankfully I had done it before and had a little experience on what to do and now you do too uh, so yeah we will uh, we'll see you next time